Hey, best friend. Girl, what you doing? Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony the Best. I just wanted to post this for you guys. Not sure if you guys are aware, but breaking news that um, an arrest after 27 years has been made into the Tupac Shakur, you know, offing. Um, <laughs> I know Jada is happy, but let me post the news clip, guys, and I'll come back with more commentary. Go for Tupac murder. And I said he need to be right in handcuffs with me for two uh, for Biggie murder because I know he had his hands in that shit. That's what that yeah. So apparently, guys, this guy, well, not this guy, turned himself in <laughs> by snitching on himself, right? And now got the police where they were raiding him. I guess every interview he went on, he was talking about it, and I guess he know too much again, and them just lock him up after 27 years just said that his mom you know is not around to see the final outcome i know um way back oh, a couple years ago when they had murdered well, well off this this same guy copied the nephew for the crime so apparently it's him that did it and right, <laughs> them Greg also Katie trying also to allegedly Vegas, implicating coffee anyway i'm gonna put the news but clip here so listen to it Put your comment, and I'll talk to you again in the next video. All right? Bye. Within that section, handle this investigation from its onset and for a short amount of time. And within a short amount of time, what we knew was that we were working a gang investigation where our victims, our witnesses, and our suspects were all from Southern California and not local to Las Vegas. Within the first few months of the investigation, our detectives knew most of the information I just briefed you on. However, we never had the necessary evidence to bring this case forward and present it for criminal charges. As time went on, this case had been reviewed multiple times by different investigators assigned to my section, but it wasn't until 2018 that this case was reinvigorated as additional information came to light related to this homicide. Specifically, Dwayne Davis's own admissions to his involvement in this homicide investigation that he provided to numerous different media outlets. In our section, we knew at this time that this was likely our last time to take a run at this case to successfully solve this case and bring forth a criminal charge. It was at that time that this case was assigned to Cliff Mogg, a detective within my homicide section. And over the last five years, this, my section worked closely, hand in hand with the Clark County District Attorney's Office and followed a systematic investigative plan over the last five years. We've conducted countless interviews and corroborated numerous facts that were not only consistent with the crime scene on the night of the incident, but also corroborated and were consistent with the sequence of events that night. This ultimately led to us procuring a search warrant which was executed at Mr. Davis's residence in Henderson, Nevada. And following the execution of that search warrant, in close coordination with the District Attorney's Office, this case was presented to the grand jury, which ultimately led to Davis being indicted. What Bible do you And there you have it, guys. Uh, finally, an arrest in the offing of Tupac Shakur, whom I loved very much. Um, I'm sure Jada is at peace right now. Maybe she has some kind of premonition. That's why she posts that video of her, Tupac and her, trying to dance. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Hit that like, comment, subscribe button.